accepted the distinctions that that were employed in in a dividing way oh, uh, and uh, within the social order and I, I had to think about my, my own growing up and accept the fact uh, that I did accept this this di this distinction in terms of division but not but I didn't do it with nature but that set up a conflict in me of course because I I couldn't uh, I couldn't understand how it could be the case that I'm natural as a being in the world but I'm not somehow related to things the way things are in what we call nature Quite. then it suddenly occurred to me later that in thinking that way I was already dividing myself off from nature and yeah. I'd never get out of that problem no and the uh, the thing came to me some years ago with a with with a tremendous flash when when I was in in Bangkok in a temple garden and of an early morning I was taking a walk and my eye was drawn uh, to a globule of dew resting on a lotus leaf and it was perfectly spherical and and I said where's the base how can it how, how can it be stable why doesn't it roll off why doesn't why doesn't it why does by the time I got to the end of my whys I was worn out and so I took a deep breath and and I said now shut up and just and, and, and just keep quiet and, and look and I saw that each maintained its own nature in this marvelous harmony without any confusion at all and I was just still Quite. just still I, I, I think I think that's something of of what you mean uh, about the fact that that was a fact that just remain with the fact look at the fact that that marvelous globule on that leaf is the fact yeah is what is the act is 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 what is done is, is isn't that what guys right yes so from this arises can one educate a student to live a life of non-comparison bigger car, lesser car, you follow? Mm -hmm. Dull, you are clever, I am not clever what happens if I don't compare at all? will I become dull? on the contrary I mm. am only dull I know I'm done only in through comparison. If I don't compare, I don't know what I am. Then I begin from there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The world becomes infinitely accessible. Oh, then yes. the, the whole thing becomes extraordinarily different. There is yes. no competition, there is no anxiety, there is no conflict with each other. This is why you, uh, you use the word total yes, often, sir. isn't it? In order to express that there is no... There is nothing drawn out from one condition to the other. There is no... There is no link there. There is no bridge there. Totally disordered. Totally order. Absolutely. That, that, yes, and I, you, you use the word absolute often, which uh, it terrifies many people today. Um, so, after all, mathematics is order. Hmm? Oh, the yes. highest form of mathematical investigation, you must have a mind that's totally orderly. <laughs> the, 
The marvelous thing about math, too, uh, is uh, that whereas it's the study of quantity, uh, you don't make passage from one integer to another by, by two getting larger. Two stops at two. two. Two and a half is no more two. Somehow that's the case. Yes. But, but uh, a child, when he's taught mathematics, is never introduced to, to that uh, no. th th that and I've ever heard of. I, you see, our teaching, our everything is so absurd. Well, hmm? I, is it possible, sir, to observe this movement of disorder with a mind that is disorderly itself, hmm? uh -huh. and say, can this mind observe disorder, this mind which is already in a state of disorder? So disorder isn't out there, <laughs> no, but in here. Uh -huh. Now, can the mind observe that disorder? Hmm? without introducing a factor of an observer who is orderly. Who will superimpose. Yes. Therefore, observe perceived <laughs> disorder without the perceiver. Mm -hmm. I don't know yes. if I'm making yes, sense. Yes, you are. All. Yes, you're making sense. That is, uh, <coughs> to understand disorder, we think a, an orderly mind is necessary. As over against a disorderly mind. Disorder. Mm -hmm. But the mind itself has created this disorder, mm -hmm. which is thought and all the rest of it. So can the mind not look at disorder out there, but the, the maker of disorder, which is in here. Which is itself the very mind. Itse mind itself as is disordered. Yes. But as soon as that is stated conceptually, concepts have uh, is finished. Yes. That's like but we are using words. We are using words to communicate. I exactly. And what I'm what, what I'm concerned with just for a second, is what are we going to say when we hear the statement that it is the disordered mind that keeps proliferating disorder, but it's that disordered mind that must see, yeah. that must see. I'm going to show you, that see, that, you will right, see in a minute yes, right. what takes place. I will yes. Disorder is not outside of me, disorder is inside of me. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Because the mind is disorderly, all its activities must be disorderly.